I love endings to seasons, epilogues, quests, live events, final missions, cutscenes, I just love them. I felt like Chosen, Splicer, and Lost really had good endings to them, and I really enjoyed that in the story, because I felt like if you end a seasonal, you know, quest at week 7 or week 8, and you have two more months of that season, Guardians are probably going to forget really what the story was like until probably the last minute or if they watched a recap till then. Having an ending really reminds you that you're still in the story and that you're actually in an amazing universe and you're just, you know, partaking it with everyone else in the community. I felt like Splicer and Lost really had good endings towards them. Finally, same being with the Elixir with Mithrax, protecting them. The final mission with Lost, with the Worm, the Exorcism, even though I hated the error codes. I cannot wait, hopefully, for Bungie to keep making more of these epilogue type things in season 18 and season 19 before Lightfall and hopefully make more live events as we're speculating Lightfall might have one and they have been nodding at some type of one in the future. But in this video we're gonna go over the epilogue for season of the haunted as we're getting some small epilogue on August 17th next week and then after that week we will get the showcase and of course the launch of season 18. I thought they were gonna launch the epilogue this week but it looks like we're going to get a small little epilogue next week, making and it, its plot will be that Kaos will project himself in the, the helm. It has been speculated that we were going to get an epilogue from the very beginning, we just didn't know what it was, and we were just speculating on the release date, but I wasn't sure if it would be this week or next week, and it looks very likely that's going to happen next week in Destiny 2, and if not next week, probably the day before Season 18 launches on August 22nd. So we're going to go into the epilogue quest itself, and then we're going to go into the data mine dialogue that's really going to be in the little epilogue quest, and what it means for season 18 and the next season, and then my predictions really on how it will link in to Blightfall, and how, you know, Cal's coming back is something I think is likely, and then of course having him as like a, a boss or something in the Lightfall expansion as well. So let's get just right into it. So the first thing that you're probably wondering is that where is the epilogue, Redrix? So since the beginning of Season of the Haunted, there was a quest in the database called High Alert Anomaly Detected Helm. Just travel to the helm, and then you would debrief with Zavala in the tower regarding this ominous message. Now, the epilogue itself will be this ominous message. And get this word, it does say at the beginning, travel to the helm, and then debrief with Zavala in the tower. Just remember that for later. So, this ominous message is what the epilogue will be. It will be us reacting to it, what this means for what's coming, and then, of course, debriefing with Zavala. That's really this ending mission ending epilogue type thing. So already off the bat, as you saw there, we will be at the helm and then the message will appear. And then of course, it will be either a cutscene or it will be a little HUD change. And then of course, it will happen right in front of us, either one of those two outcomes. And I want it to be a cutscene to be morally good with you because I kind of like cutscenes better than anything else. But we could see something but just with it just being in game but we'll see once we find out next week now this ominous message is actually callus projecting himself in the helm now we have data mine you know voice lines from the game itself when the beginning of season of haunted launched and many other youtubers have already put it on youtube so i'm just going to give you a little clip here in this video debrief with zavala in the tower regarding the ominous message Travel to the helm high alert, anomaly detected. Zavala sees you coming and steps forward to meet you. I heard. He exhales slowly. Callus's plans are foiled, his vessel stranded without a heartbeat above the moon. He shakes his head. I'm not sure how he projected himself into the helm but it was the same here, over the homes of the people we protect. His brow furrows with focus. Only a coward terrorizes innocence. Zavala looks you dead in the eyes. Callus, and this witness think they can intimidate us. It's always the ones who claim to be invincible that crack first, and they've just challenged every guardian in the system. Another conflict on the horizon. I can't say I'm eager to meet it, but if it's in defense of our citizens, not the traveler, not the light, but for the people behind our walls, we'll be ready. So yeah, Callus projected himself at the helm for some reason to of course tell us 
what what's going on, what's about to happen. I think he was challenging us. He Zavala did say he was challenging all the guardians, so it looked like they were he was mocking us, challenging us, saying like get ready for the end, get ready for what's coming. And it looks like he will show his true form. It might be something similar to the final mission where he just shows his like purple form that we saw him in of course the raid if he played Levy Raid back in year one or just a whole new form, you know, in on the very, you know, top of the helm or somewhere in space where we can see him. We could also predict is that at the time we will see more of the egregore corrupt half of the risen table. Um, if you didn't know, if every season has like a silver bundle, and the bundle for season of the haunted shows around the risen area having the egregore corrupt on the right side of that, and we haven't really seen egregore spread that far out in the helm yet. We have seen it spread out a bit. Uh, a couple weeks back but we haven't seen it spread out that much so it looks like egregore will spread out from a cause of this or some type of thing but it looks like is that it will he will be in like the space uh, skybox and we will be they're reacting to it in of course it'll be something a little cool it might be something smaller than not won't be too big to like a of course big almighty live event with everyone in the tower and such but it would probably be something we will experience at the helm just something small like that and i i gotta admit i do like that it's kind of like really cool to see some type of small little live event if you want to call it that but a quest itself you know finally you know getting ready for what's to come it will build up hype of course for the life all showcase that we're going to see a week after it but again i don't see the happening until August 17th which will be the last reset of season of the haunted now my best guess of this is that Kallus is going to of course again challenge the guardians Maka say that he's finally coming for salvation and all that type of stuff and again I believe this is really where we're gonna start to see him more often going forward in season 18 and season 19 all the way up to lightfall I feel like these next couple of seasons will build the witnesses like army type thing and have like a story maybe on Aramis and Zedo Arath and finally have the witness build the Black Fleet and it's us getting ready to then find out we're going to lose in Lightfall. I feel like Aramis and Zedo Arath are definitely going to come back and already with Kallus you know getting ready to of course his story doesn't look like it's going to be done. Of course Kallus is dead that's what Keitel did say but his mind was then given over to the witness so it looks like that with Kallus not knowing who he really was before he will finally become of course a whole new you know disciple and he'll be very powerful and it will be really awesome to see how Bungie will handle him in Lightfall or the final shape as a boss I wonder what they would give him in terms of his ability and I would want to see him as like a mini boss or a boss at least going forward in the future again I don't think the they would do this to add of course cows for this ending mission and then not add him at all throughout the year or in the Lightfall DLC I feel like these next seasons will really build up to Lightfall and with him, you know, getting ready to, of course, say that he's, you know, he's coming and that he's challenging all the Guardians. It looks like we're going to face him sometime in the future, and I cannot wait to see what Bungie does with them going forward. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on this little epilogue. Of course, I can't wait for it. Something small, and I feel like it was really good for Bungie to do it. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys in the next one.